Wow, we have the third example of an alleged UK stabbing on children in just the past couple weeks. What are the odds? It really doesn't make any sense. Why would somebody go after children and want to stab them? The same kind of questions that come to mind when we have a school shooting, allegedly, in the United States. Why would anybody want to harm children, innocent, helpless children? And wow, doesn't it really seem to help the government and their disarmament agenda? It's just too perfect for the government. Why is it that whenever the government is trying to disarm grown men of a certain weapon, some madman shows up and starts using said weapon to attack children? Wow, it's a head scratcher. Very bizarre. Now, there's a couple other interesting things to point out as far as the stabbings go in the UK. They're setting more traps for people. People who don't look at the big picture will fall into this trap that I'm about to show you here. People will, of course, make this a racial issue or an immigration issue, but they'll still beat the drums for police, police, police. We need police to do our bidding. We need to keep these knives off the street. We need to keep a closer eye on the young men. We need stop it in frisking. People will fall into the trap of asking for stopping and frisking, asking the government, please do something about the knife violence. And my question is, what do people really want to be done about the knife violence? How is this not going to backfire on people's right to arm themselves? Of course, that's what it's going to do. So the government announces, hey, there are more child stabbings today. And everyone runs out, please disarm us. Disarm the men. Stop and search the men. Wow. You don't see any problem with this? It's pathetic how they can just play you like a fiddle. So, for example, this was the second to last child stabbing which I believe was within the last 24 hours, maybe a little bit more than that. But they say it was a white male who stabbed a child, an 11-year-old girl, and a 34-year-old woman, if you believe the news. And they say that a Muslim man ran to the rescue, and they put video out of this man being held by police. He looks insane. Now, a lot of people are going to question whether this happened as described. And they'll say, why is the media announcing that he's white? Usually the media doesn't say anything about the race if it's not a white person, right? So people are going to think it's a double standards when somebody's white or when somebody's an immigrant or when somebody's black, for example. And then on the other side of the aisle, they'll say, well, we have to, because if we didn't tell you, you guys would assume like last time and spread all this misinformation and start a racist riot. We have to say he's white to prevent you from rioting. So very interesting story, all things considered here, that the Muslim man comes amidst all this anti-Muslim sentiment in the UK with the rioting, with the attacking of the migrant and the immigrant housing. It's like a role reversal in this story. Here's another photo of him with the caption, he effing stabbed a little girl. Again, why would there be violence against children? Obviously, I don't want to see children getting hurt, but I also don't want the government to disarm people, especially with such a tyrannical government running around. So to me, it seems like they just keep rolling out the disarmament, going after the next most powerful, the next most powerful, then the next most powerful weapons. And however it happens, if it happened, which is a big question, it seems that whenever the government is trying to disarm people, there's always these stories of children being attacked which of course will lead some to speculate that the events were staged. That's not what I'm saying here today, but it is important to question everything. So let's keep scrolling along here. So of course, a couple of days ago, we had this story. Three girls killed and stabbing at Taylor Swift themed UK dance class. This was back only 11 days ago, I guess, at least this headline, which indeed is very sad especially given that the government will use this to disarm people. And that's what the right wing seems to be calling for. It's crazy. That's how the right wing tries to dunk on these leftist politicians. Whenever the leftist politicians do something they don't like, it seems like the right wing or at least controlled opposition or very misled people amongst the right will come out and say, well, what are you doing about the stabbings? What are you doing about the knife violence? So it's basically like the left wing in the United States always clamoring on about the gun violence. What are you doing about the gun violence? Can you imagine in the United States, 
if that was the way that the right wing tried to dunk on Biden? Well, what are you doing about the gun violence, Biden? That's what's going on in the UK, at least as far as what I come across on Twitter, which I'm hoping is not representative. You'll have to let me know in the chat. But I always see these right wing groups calling for stopping and frisking. And whenever something happens, whenever there's a policy they don't like, for example, you less, which I hate you less. I think it's an attack on the working class. But the right will come out and they'll say, oh, look at the government not doing what they should about knife violence. And so why is it always children these days that are getting attacked with knives? So why is it always women and children getting attacked with knives these days? At least as far as these major headlines the past few days. Which will become way more pertinent if they start trying to confiscate people's knives. And instigating stop and frisk as people walk down the street. Especially men. We've seen this before. Oh, we don't need to stop and search everybody, just the young men. They're the ones that are most likely to pull out a knife and start stabbing children. So if we can just search the young males, that's fine with us. But of course, if there really are criminals running around with knives, first of all, I would expect that men would be getting attacked the most. Who attacks a woman or a child with a knife? And if people are being attacked with knives, the reasonable thing to do would be for people to arm themselves. You're not going to be able to confiscate every knife in the United Kingdom, nor should you want to. But they'll say, no, we just need to confiscate knives when people are walking in the street. Still almost impossible to do. It's so easy to conceal a knife. So I'm just thinking this through because we keep getting these types of headlines. Three girls killed and stabbing at Taylor Swift themed UK dance class. A girl, 11, and a woman, 34, stabbed in London's Leicester Square. Oh, here's another one. Another child stabbed. Boy taken to hospital after stabbing in the city center. But I find the spate of stabbings to be very interesting. And they play right into the government's agenda here. I would not be surprised if we start seeing more and more restrictions on knives and more and more encroachment on people's privacy. And ironically, what would actually be helpful which is men start carrying knives around to defend themselves and others. If somebody was to go on a rampage, that will be demonized and criminalized, of course. They can't have people defending themselves with knives. And they've pretty much got the right wing calling for disarmament and searching people as they walk down the street, at least the young men and the middle-aged men. So we'll have to see what happens here. But this in conjunction with the psyops around the riots and how the government's really trying to demonize people talking on the internet and lashing out in any form by throwing a massive book at anybody who disobeys, anybody who riots, it makes you wonder what they're prepping for because it sure seems like they're clamping down. Well, it seems like they've already clamped down, but it seems like they could be readying the public for something big in the future. Maybe some sort of a market crash. Maybe some sort of a totalitarian police state. But whatever it is, it sure seems like some sort of a totalitarian police state on the rise in the UK. And some people might disagree. They might say, no, Tim, the criminals are out of control. They're running around on the street stabbing people. We need more of a police state. And that's where I disagree because the police are never going to get there fast enough to stop somebody from hurting you. What it seems like they want to try to do is just disarm everybody. And have such big penalties if somebody's caught with a knife that nobody risks it. But somebody who's thinking about and possibly about to go on a stabbing spree, a killing spree, probably isn't too worried about the law. Probably isn't too concerned about the ramifications. Do you see what I mean? So very horrific if true. If children are being stabbed, that's horrifying. But again, isn't it odd that whenever the government needs to disarm people, some maniac shows up? and starts using the weapon that they want to take away from the good people. It's like clockwork. So thanks for watching, and check out groupdiscover.com if you want more videos. It's a huge repository of almost 30,000 videos. Save 50% with the coupon code ANTIPOISON. I'll see you there.